Well, Susie, what a <laughs> remarkable game that was. I just try and sort your emotions after that fabulous win. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I think I think there's a lot of exhausted people here. Listen, um, our, ca our girls are capable of any anything. Um, first half didn't quite go as we as as we planned. However, we didn't panic because that's had two scores in in the first half, which is not insurmountable. So it was more like we need to be able to keep hold of the ball and put pressure on them because we we kept you know pulling putting putting pressure back on ourselves. So um, and then we went out and really went at them in the second half, which was fantastic and that ended up in two yellow cards so once you put pressure on them then you can start to play and score points but you know that game could have gone still gone either way in, in the second half and fortunately we managed to end up on top well let's just take you back to half time i mean obviously 14 nil down it was looking like it was gonna be an uphill task to get back into the game what were the messages at half time what do you think really turned it around yeah i've just said that um it wasn't, let's not panic, let's sort out our set piece, let's go to the better areas that suit us more um, and play in the right areas of the field. Um, but, you know, that restart receipt from the second half, the girls go, went to town and started to play and that's exactly who we are, they were expressing ourselves. So be ourselves but be more chiefs and more and put, it, put ourselves on them and, and that's what they did. And of course you went behind with about 11 minutes remaining. Did you still have belief at that moment that your side could still do the business and find that winning score? Yeah, 100%. We, we can score from anywhere. Any team can sort of score from anywhere in any given moment. So, um, listen, there was no panic. It was just like, we're in this. This is this is a, almost like test match, um, you know, pressure. And how do you cope with it? What, what decision making? Who takes the leadership and all that kind of stuff? So, yeah, no panic. We just, yeah, we just got on with it. Well, you said it was like a test match. You yeah. had some big international stars in your side and they really came to the fore today we've mentioned Hope Rogers who again scored after a four tries last weekend and Rachel Johnson was particularly influential yeah. and Kate Zachary of course they really did shine today didn't they well Hope I, I can't even praise her enough you know she just does it week in week out doesn't train much in the week because she's so battered but you know it doesn't matter um, and Rachel Johnson is unbelievable when you look back at the footage and the detail that she gets through but there was loads of great stuff you know Maisie Allen a young player who's linking everything together Emily Totosi hitting her line outs you know time after time after time under pressure um, you know and then Liv McGovern pulling the strings and Flo Robinson a young nine so there's loads of good stuff coming together I, I tell you who really did stand up Katie Buchanan on the left wing you know as a young player um, you know she she was just brilliant uh, it's gonna be some tough selection calls for the final in games like this, the leaders really come to the fore, don't they? And none other than Poppy Leach. I mean, when your side is standing behind the post, 14 nil down, a big semi-final at home, it takes some incredible leadership to bring you through those sort of games. And she really stood up, didn't she? Yeah, yeah, she stands up every week. She's our glue. She um, she holds it together. She is the the passion. She's the heartbeat. You know, anything that any of those words that you want to use, it's Poppy Leach. Um, you know, I just think she's phenomenal. But you know, we're, we're under no illusions. We just got through a tough encounter and knocked out the champions. But we're going up to King's Home for a tough game in two weeks, and we'll see. You know, we'll make sure we prep for that. Finally, I've got to mention this crowd. I don't think I've ever heard an atmosphere quite like that. Uh, certainly not for a long time. I'm including men's games in that as well. They are just so passionate about this side, aren't they? I literally, um, you can't hear yourself think up there. There's 4,000 people screaming and banging their drums and it is just unbelievable. Like we came here three years ago and we started from nothing, obviously in COVID. And um, we've gained a fan base and, and there's, fresh, there's new fans in here today, you know, and that's the appetite that there is for the game. And it's not, it's, it's rugby. It's not women's or men's rugby, it's rugby and it's on at Chiefs. Let's go, let's go watch. Um, so, yeah, hopefully they'll come to Kingston. Absolutely. Well, I wish you really good luck for the final at Kingston in a couple of weeks. Well done, Susie. Cheers. Susie, Thank a quick you. question from yeah. me, just in terms of it, though. Is that a statement win and is it lessons learnt from 12 months ago that, you know? Uh, you know, people are talking about um, the final and was it was it in our thoughts it wasn't really it was the next job which you know this was the ticket to the final that's all we were thinking about um, massive to, to have earned the right to play at home in front of the, that crowd and I think they got us over the line I honestly do because you can't stop in front of these people can you you've just got to give it everything because they keep cheering and keep cheering so um, listen we dispatched the champions. I, I'm pleased with that. You know, they're a good side. They're a really physical side. They out-muscled us in the first half and we just came back at them and then they couldn't live with it. Gloucester in a fortnight. You've got yeah. a chance to recharge the batteries, yeah. but that's going to be a huge test and a different Gloucester to what you faced last week. Yeah, it's, of course. You know, they, they rested eight players. You know, that's the, the strength of their squad, but it's going to be another massive physical encounter. Um, so you know we'll we'll prepare as we do every week and we, you know we're coming out on top on in a lot of these games and, and we are capable of turning that team over you know 
but it's their first final as well. You know, it's exciting. They're, their first final, they're at home. Our second final, we're on the road. You know, it doesn't get much better, both sides from the West Country. Go and celebrate now. Cheers.